Ini di belakang. Biar enggak kena solar panelnya. It's so nice that you're watching my video and if you like the video please subscribe to my channel it's free and it helps me thank you coming in here in Kupang was a problem because my engine died down the past five years that already happened five times so the first thing we are going to check if it's an air or diesel um, pump intake problem. So we're gonna do a couple of things today to make sure that either that's a solution or if not, take the next step. So I prepared all my tools, got my toolbox here my handy toolbox for everything I have but with hand, the diesel things, the pump and the filters. So I'm ready to go. You see? Yes. That's big and bearing broken. Okay. You want to start? Ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Ne préchauffe pas, c'est bon? Pas besoin. Non. Juste appuie sur start et tu laisses tourner sur start pendant. Hello. Well, since, in, uh, since arriving in Kupang with engine problems, I had several people checking my engine. And I had lovely backup from Beta Marine in the UK, in the Netherlands, the Diesel Doctor, and Basian de Boer, Job Brandt, and many, many other people. <laughs> uh, but, well, things got worse actually, and um, the engine is in very bad condition, it doesn't want to start anymore. I tried it with an extra tank and uh, the red one uh, with the fuel line to co connect it directly to the diesel engine to check uh, to, to um, make sure that it's not filthy diesel or something in the, in the, in the hoses. But it all didn't work out so uh, overhauling my engine was one of the options uh, but lots of problems going there um, now I'm going to sail to Bali without an engine and it's a five day sail I've got some current also there and uh, yeah I hope it all be okay in the end it's all okay if it's not okay it's not the end so see you later This is crank, what they call crankcase ventilation, right? So it's just that, where that hose fits into here. Yes. It's going to take that sitting off if I can. Yeah. And so you now, you have taken the injectors off? I've taken one injector out. Can I get that? Much, but it hasn't run for a while. Okay. Well, it's clean, like it's never yep. really been run at all. Yeah, th that's also the situation. So we just renew the oil and the okay. filters. So this clearance on that valve. Yeah, the only thing would be if the valves completely had no clearance at all, then then they would um, get stuck open. Okay. Never closed. But that's that's fine. That one. Yeah. That one's fine. That one's fine. That one's not. But it's probably because of the position of the engine. Hi guys. 
guys. Um, yeah, so we pulled the injectors out, had a look at them, tested them, which you can probably see. They both seem to be fine. Put it all back together, pulled the rocket cover off, um, looked at the valve clearance. Valve clearance is fine. Put it all back together, started it. Um, it starts, it runs, as you can hear from the video that you're going to be sent. It seems noisy, um, perhaps a little bit rough. Um, you could have a burnout, could have burnout valves, could have blown head gasket, um, or that maybe there's something else behind the um, the engine that's making the excessive noise. Maybe the exhaust manifold's loose, and um, not obviously loose, but perhaps that's something there, or maybe the hose. I haven't gone back that far and looked. How many days uh, from uh, last time uh, you sail to Bali? Yeah. From where? From Kupang, Timor. Kupang. Oh. Yeah. I sailed four days. To my surprise, there was damage to the crankshafts and bearing. This is a real big problem. And now I need to look at repairing, replacing, or replacing the whole engine. Thank you. I'm very happy. Yeah. And also that you are helping me to get it on board. No stress anymore. Yes. <laughs> what is that? He cannot it's, go up. It's the bigger for body. <laughs>
Good morning. I am uh, back on the boat. We uh, had uh, an interesting two days with uh, putting the new engine in and taking the old engine off. And today we are going for a sea trial to see uh, what the uh, engine does. Uh, but before going to sea trial, the boat needs to be cleaned because it's so, so dirty. And dirty is one thing that like diminishes the speed. But I cannot even move the tiller because of barnacles in between the uh, transom rudder. So breakfast, cleaning the boat, sea trial. That's up for today. Whilst making new videos. Uh, filling out a warranty form for my new diesel engine, trying to uh, get coolant and diesel uh, and oil uh, here, which is all very, very difficult. When you're from Europe, you're like, ah, yes, I'm gonna ask the engine mechanic to bring some and to change some, and that's all good. Or you just go to the shop, which is easy. And here in uh, Bali, it's all very difficult. Hello! Uh, housekeeping! Um, housekeeping! Thank you very much yes, thank you. for everything. Yes, you're welcome, you're welcome. I'm very happy with your okay. work. Thank you, thank also. You. Okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> if you need something, I'll go to Lombo. You can call me if you need something. Yes. Okay. I will. Uh, maybe I can give it uh, information, good information, yeah. maybe like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank, you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. It's free and it helps me. Uh, thanks also to my patrons. If you want to become a patron, it's patreon.com slash loveworks. Or for one time or monthly donations to PayPal, it's paypal.me slash loveworks. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye. <laughs>